or rolling. <laughs> Do you like my mug? Hey, welcome back to our stupid reaction scene. It's of course. That's awesome. He falls on Funny, funny thing about it. Where did you get that? And it's funny, your last name is Miles, so it's an M. It yeah. works. Uh, this is uh, I got this custom made. It's on Etsy. And I know for a fact the lady who makes them is like this Christian. <laughs> She has no saying, idea what she no, made. No, because in the description it said, because obviously you get an, a one letter. Right. And then you could put, she said, names only. And I was like, there's no way in hell she's, she's going to know, know what that. this means. <laughs> <laughs> so she made a cup that said motherfucker on. <laughs> it's the little things in life That's that bring so me joy. Good. Anyways, that has nothing to do with what we're doing. Today uh, we're doing a movie review. Uh, it's a... I got to watch off. Oh, oh Okay. It is a, uh, it's actually, we reacted to the songs and the trailer very Long early on. Probably, ago. probably within the first six months. In probably. fact, if I'm not mistaken, I think the phrase when Priyanka's happy, everybody's happy. You think that was from this? Came out of our reaction to... Yeah. Because when I watched it again, I couldn't help but feel like everything was going to be right with the world. That's been, uh... That's been on my playlist for a long time. But yes, this is actually the, even though we were gonna uh, get to this eventually, this was the Patreon May request of the month for the Hindi. Every month, uh, all Patreon members get to vote on one Hindi film and one regional. Yeah. Uh, every month, this was their Hindi. Even though we would have eventually gotten to this. Yeah, I'm sure. But uh, I'm, I'm glad they decided to. Uh... <laughs> but in case you guys don't know about this film, uh, it's called Dil Dick Tuna. That's it. Uh, <laughs> That's the actual original working title. A comedy drama romance uh, directed and written by Zoya Akhtar uh, 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 from Gully Boy fame uh, from us. And I think we've seen one other thing of hers. Um, but it's f produced by Farhan Akhtar uh, and then starring everyone. Uh, Anil Kapoor, Shaif Ali Shah, Priyanka Chopra, Ranveer Singh, Anushka Sharma, Farhan Akhtar. Robert and then a, Yeah, a whole bunch of other people that we do know as well. And... Um, um, Vikrant Masi, who uh, from Mizapur, and uh, um, what was that other one called? Um, um, Death in the Gunge. Death, yeah, Death, Death in the, the Gunge. Gunge. It's going to be a hundred cents spoiler review. I'm assuming you've seen this film. It came out in 2015. If you haven't watched it, go watch it. It's on Netflix for us. Yeah. Um, but it's a uh, it's a romantic comedy with family. Yep, essentially is what it Pretty is. Pretty much. So, Rick, what is your initial thought? Well, and it's it is our 31st of 2021. 31st film. 31st film, mm -hmm. 156th all time. Yes. Our 104th Hindi film. Oh, we're already over 100. Uh, and we are we are uh, tracking to do, like, we're going to blow. We did 65 films last year. We're going to get to 100? We, we're going to come real close. Okay. At the pace we're going at, we're going to be in the 90s. We may get to 100. We try year. to do two a week. Yep. If we uh, stay at that pace, we're going to get in the low 90s, mid 90s. That'd we'll be good. see. That'll be good. Uh, yeah. But I... Uh, I, it's a, to me, just a really fun, unexpectedly moving at times escapist film that I thought was uh, just, it's my, I, I have a bias toward this in the same way that I have a bias towards, say, eating sushi or Italian food. These kind of movies that are like this, that remind me a lot of, say, You Again or Freaky Friday or even Deborah. This mm -hmm. reminded me a lot of the same kind of a feeling of where you've got a rom-com dramedy that has, some, has a message. Mm -hmm. I just, I love them. Yeah. I, I, so I love this movie. I actually really enjoyed this film as well. Uh, in terms of it being, I think it's one of the most, one of the first full-out rom-com style films that we've gotten. Yeah, uh, we, we have reacted to some others, but I think this almost embodies the the tropes, the, the everything about the com uh, rom com with obviously well, family drama. You could even go down to what happens in terms of what is considered the stereotypical qualities that make the differentiation between a comedy and a drama for Shakespeare. Yeah, the the, the tropes, the mm -hmm. standard things where there's 
love stories and people, someone's in love with someone else and then there's a story that's made up and there's a mistaken identity. Yeah. And then they have to forgive the guy. Yeah, then, yeah, exactly. So there's a whole bunch of that, but you, you, you just know you're getting that. I knew you'd love it because it's a dog telling the story. <laughs> the minute I saw the dog, I'm like, oh, Corbin's going to love this. Yeah, it was also, do you know who it was? The dog? The voice of the dog? Um, wasn't it an Octar again? It was a, uh, who was it? It was Amir Khan. That was Amir Khan? <laughs> that was Amir Khan. <laughs> it was? Yes. Wow. Look, watch, I'll show you in the, uh... I knew another Octar helped. Nice. That was Amir Khan. Uh, but yeah. Sorry, I didn't, I didn't get that. So yeah, I, this is one of those films you could just turn on and Absolutely. just enjoy. You don't think about, in fact, we'll get into it. Um, but like when he, when she left the boat, I, I'm like, I would literally yell, jump off the boat. Of course. <laughs> it wasn't. She left and I'm like, okay, he's going to go run and jump. Yeah. It's just a matter of if. I was like, you just, you of have to jump it off the boat. You have to jump off the boat at yeah. this point and go get her. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I, I really will get into all of it, but let's talk about the acting first. Yeah. Of all the people. Uh, I think Renvier honestly stole the show. Uh, even though, not, not to say anybody else was bad, everyone else was, everybody else was really, great. really good. The, the dude, man, he just impressed me even more because one, this could have just been a stereotypical, you know, the love interest and you, you have to, and one, not everybody can do that. No. It's, even though it looks like a simple role, it, to make it memorable, it's not that easy. <laughs> There's much more that can go wrong when you've got, and Zoya knocked it out of the park, oh, yeah, as yeah, did yeah. Farhan, because I understand he wrote the dialogue. Yeah. Um, this family affair is formulaic. Mm -hmm. And it it worked. Yeah, they know how to work that formula, and and her direction and everybody's portrayals. Especially, I was interested to watch how he was going to do the comedy because it's one of the telltale signs of a good actor is can you do comedy well? Mm -hmm. Everybody did. He especially did because of all the roles in the film, his was the least grounded until the end. Mm -hmm. Everybody got really grounded at the end. And we'll talk about that. Yeah. But if there's any one of these that could have gone off the charts and been really cheesy bad it was his role it was his role but and he, he didn't he didn't go oh, there no and it, it's in so because obviously we love Renfair. we think he's a, a great actor and he has such a range and he brings such an energy to his performances but we'll be brutally honest oh, yeah i mean just because we love actors doesn't mean we're not going to say yeah they weren't good in that so yeah, but he was he was <laughs> so exactly. like him i think his uh, chemistry with anushka sharma I thought it was really, really very good. believable. Really good. Love them together. I, I loved his. Work. Uh, I was actually upset that we didn't get to see in the end them be together. I know. I, even though I assume obviously with the big be. song, yeah. obviously, and they were together in the song. So I'm like, obviously, with literally at the very end, every romantic comedy trope happened within five minutes. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> I was listening to the song. I left yesterday after I was done watching it to go have dinner with Ashley and Harrell, mm -hmm. and I just kept playing on repeat. Yeah. So, like, you assume, obviously, they're going to end up together. Of course. Um, and obviously, all all the family, even though how bad they were, they all came together in <laughs> With the their end. Deep generations of you know decades yeah. of problems all got. It's all stalled. gone. It's all a, gone now. In a heartbeat. In a heartbeat. You just you're like that's going to happen. Yeah. I expected it and exactly. I loved it. It's, it. It worked so well. I thought. Shafali Shah, uh, is that how you pronounce yes. it? I think I'm mispronouncing uh, Shafali. it. Shafali. Shafali Shah. Shafali Shah. Um, one, you've known if you've watched the channel and watched our reactions of her, she's a phenomenal actress Great in everything yeah. that we've seen her in. This, she had such a complex role because she had kind of almost fallen into this this place, which was a great scene for, for the whole thing. But uh, Ren Veer, when he was literally just pointing out to his parents what their problems were, he was like, that's been fucking around. Oh, you. That was the hospital scene. Yeah, oh, the hospital When he scene. wouldn't leave. Yeah. That was and then, a great scene. I love that Zoya literally just let it be silence and then Ranveer just like looking for somebody. And yeah. then he grabbed the chair and he's yeah. like, I'm not moving. Yeah, I we're going to do it. I loved the, and I don't know if that was directed that way or if she just caught him doing it. But that was one of the best moments of the film is yeah. that moment when, yeah. she, when she is screaming at him to get out and he's like, I'm not going to leave. I'm not going to leave. I'm not going to leave. And then it gets silent for a second. And he says, because dad, we know what he's been doing on his trips. He's been sleeping with everybody. And then dead silence. And he's like, dad, mom, sister, mom, <laughs> dad, sister, mom. And then you, you kind of just put up with it. And then she obviously, she can't go anywhere. And it was got, she was at almost like a, 
she was almost a villain at times. Yeah. But then she also feels so bad, bad for, for her, her. Yeah. because you know she's stuck. Her husband's a complete asshole. Right. Uh, until the very end, of course. Uh, <laughs> um, like, he's an asshole to her. She sleeps around. He's, like, the, 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 the worst father that I can think of. Um, but, like, she kind of just she accepted that this was her life. And she also fed into his yes. awful, like, judgments and, and, yeah. and, and advice. And, and that's, that's where it got into. And we'll talk about some of the other acting as well. But as far as, like, the messages... It really did what some of the better rom-coms do, and Deborah did this. It's one of the things that we've talked about in, re in relationship to other films we've seen recently that kind of just stay really shallow. Mm -hmm. Where oh, this went deep. This actually really got into some deep, especially within stuff. the Indian culture. Yes, the Indian family culture. Very, and in a way and in that a, a modern way, a modern way, and an accessible way. Where this is something the whole family. It's very hard to write and create a film that the whole family can sit down and watch, it's gonna touch on some very serious matters mm -hmm. that the family might even sit there watching it going, uh, this is us. Yeah. And then it'll end with you all happy and ready to go have dinner and talk and laugh. Yeah. Really hard to do. Yeah, so the, the writing with that in Zoya, did, I think did a phenomenal job. Yeah. And then another moment that, there was a bunch of moments, obviously Shafali Shah had some really great, um, Shafali, Shafali Shah had some really great moments. Priyanka, when she actually, decided to tell him she wanted a divorce. I love Priyanka. It was a phenomenal scene for her. Um, and so I thought she did she did really well. Um, Anusha Sharma, I liked, yeah, she, I liked her chemistry with Ranveer a yeah, lot. They very have, believable. They have phenomenal chemistry. I mean, I don't know who doesn't have great chemistry with Ranveer. We've seen it with Priyanka, Topeka. <laughs> I mean. But you have to be a very, I mean, think about it. Mm -hmm. You, you have to hold your own. He will overshadow you. Oh, yeah. And with, with, if you're not... If and you don't, he, if he you don't bring the to, energy and if you don't bring the talent... The only reason he should pull back is if he's got it scripted like he did in Gully Boy. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. So in this, he's not holding anything back. So for her to shine equally with him mm -hmm. speaks volumes. And we've liked everything we've seen her do. Yeah. Uh, I do have one thing. One, and it's a pretty big complaint. Mm. So... Uh, I, I marked down what time it happened on the film. Was it two hours, 19 minutes, and 22 seconds is when the white doctor comes in. <laughs> oh, my goodness. You can't deliver one line, okay? <laughs> and I could see the look on the entire cast's face when he came to give the news. They weren't shocked about the news about that. <laughs> they were shocked. Where did she get this actor to play <laughs> Anyway... Am I wrong? No, you're not wrong. Thank you. And there was obviously, there was a few instances with um, some some acting or some writing that was just cheesy, but yeah. it's, you know, you I knew that was gonna happen going, going in. Going in, that's every rom-com almost yeah. that, that, that you can think of, all the classics ones at least, that, that you can think of, that they all have some cheesy lines and some, some like, they all have stuff that's like completely unbelievable, like yeah, that would never happen. happen. But you accept it. Yeah. That's that's the that's your genre. You go exactly. in because you want to see the romance. When you watch You Again or Freaky Friday, you know they're gonna strain credulity. You know this is nothing that could ever happen in real life, and that's why you're enjoying it, is because mm -hmm. but you're also gonna get real life moral lessons from it. It's like great sitcoms. Mm -hmm. The situational comedies have these ridiculous moments and lines that like if you watch Will and Grace there are some lines that Karen has, and you're like, there's no way Karen did that to her kids. There's no way Karen did that with her husband. And she says it very, and Jack doesn't blink, nobody blinks. But then later in the show, there's like this really touching, deep yeah. moment. And that's, yeah. what, that's what this is. Now, yeah. I don't know if you noticed this, but I noticed this. So I thought um, Rahul Bose did a very good job playing uh, Priyanka's husband. Oh, yeah. Now, but I did notice something so mm. much so that I looked at it. I looked it up while I was watching. Did you notice that whenever there were shots, especially like the musical numbers, mm -hmm. he wasn't with Farhad, Anil, and Far Ranveer? Farhan. Yeah, Farhan Akhtar. Uh -huh. He wasn't with them. And there was one sequence where they were on the boat and he walked up next to Priyanka and I saw him standing next to Priyanka and I realized, oh, I didn't realize he was that short. Oh, was he really that short? Well, if you look his height up, you're going to get everything from 5'4 to 5'5 five five to 5'6 five to 5'7. He's a short dude, huh? Yeah, but here's the thing. I don't know if this was asked or if Zoya just did it, because I know they do this with Tom Cruise all the time. Yeah. Because uh, Tom Cruise is small. 
Uh, he's not dinky, but he's he's like five foot six, I think, five mm -hmm. foot seven. But like in the musical number, uh, the um, I've got Dill Dill Duck in my head right now. Yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. I was looking around for him because he was sitting at the table and he's nowhere around until he comes down the stairs. And then when he gets in front of the group, they're all bent in half and he's snapping and then he's out. <laughs> I didn't notice that. Yeah, yeah there That's was funny. consistency with which he was framed in a That's way funny. that didn't put him because. Runveer's 5'10", Farhan's 5'9", and Nil is 5'9". They probably didn't want him to seem that much... Diminutive. Yeah, because in film that comes across. If you if you look that much shorter, obviously, especially if you're next if, to big, huge buff guys well, like Ranveer and Farhan. And I think that might have been a primary consideration because if he looks that much smaller mm -hmm. when he has the moment where he's telling Priyanka, get up and do what I say, mm -hmm and the brother and the dad are getting mad, if you've already gotten this idea that he's diminutive comparatively, he's not gonna seem as much of a threat. Yeah. And physically, the dude is a freaking freak of nature. Is he? This guy's got like a metabolic rate. This bows himself the man. Yeah. He's 52, but his metabolic like system is a 27 year old. The dude is an athlete and the dude is an amazing The thing I shape. noticed is that he looks like Rufus Sewell to me. Who's that? Rufus Sw I know that name. You do. Oh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You're... And whoa! You know what's crazy about that? He looks exactly like him. I didn't even remember his name, but when I was watching the film, and I'm watching Bo's in the role, I'm like, you know who he reminds me of? And it was him, but I couldn't remember the name. I'm like, he would play those roles. He's yeah, perfect. It's the, it's, it's the, the face. It's the furled brow. Yeah, it's the it brow. Um, they have very, like, he, he, they, he just looks like the Indian version but, of him. And great great actors. Yeah, he is. He's, he's, he's always, he's not a name, but he's always in you a great him. supporting role, and he always does phenomenal. Always does a great And that, that's what I imagine this other guy, uh, who I think this is the first thing we've ever seen him in. It's the first thing we've seen him in. We've seen him in trailers for stuff. Yeah. But, uh, and he was great. I thought he was a... The whole cast was uniform. Let's talk about Anil, so. because we did. We, this is one of our first outside of Slumdog. I thought he did a good job. And I it was a difficult, a really I thought job. it was a difficult role, because one, he has to be a dick, but also he didn't play it. It, well, until all, except yes. certain moments, obviously. Correct. But, like, even Zoya, credit to Zoya here, and uh, Farhan, I guess, if he, if he wrote him this way, is just, this guy, he is, like, he's awful. He but, cheats on his wife. Right. He's awful to his kids. He's awful to his wife. Right. And he's manipulative. Yes. But often you, you didn't feel that way until those big outburst moments. Correct. And... Which is phenomenal. Obviously, I, that's that's what I expect because I know his reputation. He's he's a, he's an actor, and I, I would expect nothing less from yeah. him to to not play a stereotype. Correct. And I think he did a good job doing. I that. I did too. He actually, I was I was expecting him to be good. Mm -hmm. He was better than I was expecting. Yeah. And it's really easy to to judge a character and play them as a cliche, and it wouldn't have worked. It's a testament to his prowess, Farhan's writing, and Zoya's directing because. When he has the moment in the bed with her and he's actually saying something that seems genuinely intimate mm -hmm. and she says to him, why are you saying that? There's no audience to hear you. Great line. And then she realizes yeah. that was bad for me to do. Yeah. If he was a completely dislikable guy, you would have sided with her mm -hmm. and then said, why do you feel bad? But I actually did feel a little bit bad yeah. for him. Uh, it, yeah, it, I it, thought it, he it would definitely made you question. It's like, oh, that was sweet, but also, yeah, he... He definitely slept right. with you know, everyone. Yeah, he's not he's, a good... And not, not good. His perspective on what his son is, he is... There's a line in there where Runveer's character says, I'm an asset. He says that mm -hmm. to Priyanka. Uh, he treats Priyanka like she's just... Like his kids, are, they're just assets for his company. Yeah, they, they, this film brought up so many par, um, um, points about, you know, uh, Indian family and how, like, Priyanka, she wanted a divorce. There's an entire family meeting Right. About something that's not their business. Right. <laughs> and the constant repetitiveness of... And the fact of, that it's not the husband talking. Right. It the, was his mom. It was her parents. It's the in-laws. Right. And the constant framing of what, what will, will people, people think. think. Yeah. 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 And that, that pressure. Very and the brave. the stigma. Very of, brave. Uh, not only to put in a film, but to put in a film that's like a family affair. Like, exactly. This is like accessible to people. Exactly. It's not like an art house film that... Of all these people aren't going to see, it's they should put it in a film that 
Most people, I'm, I'm assuming this was a big hit. I'm yeah. assuming it made a lot of money. I would I'm hope so. Because obviously with all these people in it. Yeah. Uh, we didn't talk about Farhan. Farhan, he's, he's great. Oh. He, he had a, a, a small role. And that was, it was halfway through the film when he finally showed up. I yeah. knew he was in. I was like, oh, there he is. Yeah. I was wondering where he was. Um, but I thought him and Priyanka had good chemistry. That scene that they had in the room was very, very believable. Good. I don't expect anything less from Farhan. Yeah. Even though we haven't seen a ton of him, that's what I expect. Yeah. I expect him to be really really good yes i it's, it's he already started at that echelon it was like i know what to expect from you and if yeah. you don't bring it i'm probably gonna be upset <laughs> and a real credit because the writing and direction the combination and the brother sister working this well together if if you guys happen to be watching this the 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 writing and the way that the pacing of the film for a film that is it's over two and a half hours, isn't it? It's almost three. It's almost three hours. It's almost three. Most rom-coms... One and a half. ...don't work that long. No. But this never got boring. Yeah. It stayed it's crisp. Boring. It stayed believable. Well-paced. Uh, the funny wasn't done just for the laughs. And I even felt the writing of the characters who were the ancillary family that were there on the trip, like the guy who had had the heart attack. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I didn't feel like they made any kind of a hollow caricature of a person they did their best to flesh these people out as best as they could yeah, and when uh vikrant messi i thought he did a actually really good job this was a very different from the other roles that we've seen mm -hmm. him in because uh death and gunge and then music there was very similar very kind of shy reserved sure. smart characters this guy was more of a normal guy yeah, I, I thought he did well in so that. did nuri yeah, uh, the, uh, the actress who played I'm nuri to, is the character I'm name right here i i thought she did an excellent job she? um in the role that she played in the relationship she? she had with ranveer she? I don't know. The name, her character name was Nuri, Nuri right? Nuri, 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 Nuri. I can't believe I didn't pick up on the fact that that was Amir uh, Khan. Amir Khan, yeah. I don't know why uh, she's not in the IMDb credits here. That's strange. She was kind that of a big strange. part. She was a very big part. She's a supporting part in that. I'm trying to find the name Nuri here. Was that a nickname? Maybe. Maybe I'm. Was she? Is this her? No. No. That's not her, right? Yeah, that's very strange. I don't know. Okay, but uh, Regardless. you know who you said, the, the one that the Kron. And the music, guys. I just, it was as enjoyable for me, like the, the title song and the other songs, and even her uh, song when Ranveer's like fallen in love with her, and it's got that 1920s feel to it. The song composition and production quality was hairspray level good. Oh, yeah. Just I, I love excellent. What, what, what song was it? Oh, uh, when uh, Anushka uh, Sharma was sh singing on stage, and yes, Ranveer that's... finally figured out she was a, a dancer. Yes. <laughs> And then Priyanka got up and knew every step. I know, that, that's so good. <laughs> she just happened to know every step. Knew every step. Uh, loved it. Uh, and yes, when Priyanka's happy, everybody's happy. I just, and she, she looked just so, so beautiful in every single thing she would did. And so many times where you could see for a rom-com, the, the artsiness of Zoya was there. There were some unrelenting close-up shots and some yeah. of the more intimate Sequences. Yeah, I'm super interested to watch. Obviously, uh, Renvir. I love Renvir. He's this is another little notch in his repertoire of how many different roles he can play. Yeah. Uh, which you know, I greatly. I'm not. I'm not saying he's like Nawaz. I don't. I, I think he could get to that level. Absolutely. Uh, but I think he's a really talented actor I who agree. has a, a versatile uh, and also. An energy that he brings that very few have. Yeah. Uh, and that brings a lot to a character. But the fact that he can play this role, play the role in Padmavat, play the gully boy, yes. play um, the Baji Ramastani role. And then I, there's a bunch that we haven't seen, like um, Simba, which obviously we know is a, a big masala film. But I'd be interested to see how that is. Because like, yeah. this is almost like when Heath Ledger played in 10 Things I Hate About You. Mm -hmm. Obviously, right. it's a, it's it's a, just a fun film. It's not a film that you're going in expecting great, but they can pull out great performances in those roles. Yes, that's what great actors can do, and it's it makes me love them even more. Yeah, and and you might guys be like, yo, the Ranveer, but yeah, we love it. Yeah, <laughs> and I think it's warranted. It's it not is, unwarranted. It's love. not unwarranted love. And yeah, I agree with you. He he isn't, and I don't even think he'd put himself in that category. No. Uh, in this, in, in, I don't even know there's need to make a comparison to it, but this, the biggest thing for me was how this was able to highlight everybody in this, yeah, their, their capacity to do comedy, drama, uh, ensemble, camaraderie. Yes. Uh, you could also feel not just, I, I think the ease of working because everybody here knows each other yeah. and has done previous projects together. Yeah. 
I think this must have been a really, really a fun shoot. Phenomenal. Must have direction. had a lot of fun. You could feel the energy of the cast. I want together. to see more of Zoya. She goes. Uh, she just. She She's knows. A great director. She knows how to put together a film. Yep. And do it really well. Great director. Um, and also cinematography. It was beautiful. Beautiful. Throughout. I thought uh, whoever uh, cinematographer looks like it's uh, Carlos. Carlos Catalan. Who. Uh, yeah. There were some shots that were so good, I didn't know if they were using drones, drones or extended cranes. Yeah. Uh, and they were just, it was like, okay, now you're showing off. Yeah. Right? So all around just a fun film. One of my favorite just yeah, romance comedies that we've seen. Right up there with Deborah for me yeah, as far as I just, I'll watch that. You, I can't wait to watch it with Ashley and Alexis. Yeah, it's just when you, you sit down and you're like, this is gonna be, this is gonna be a lot of fun. Yep. And you'll just enjoy it. So uh, let us know what the next Zoya and obviously all these people. All these people. Ranbir, uh, Anil, Anil, Priyanka, Anil. Sh Sh Shafila Shah, all of them. Every single one of them. Shafali. Uh, <laughs> I know, we keep butchering it, which is sad. We're stupid. Everybody knows your name but us because we're idiots. What the next film we should watch is down below.